Which would probably, I mean, I mean, it's a big judgment, but uh, which could probably explain why we have some French Polynesians uh, watching, supporting from afar. So if you are Kevin Jusse's uh, supporters over there in French Polynesia, let's make some noise, yo! Very excited to see Kevin step into the cage tonight. Uh, he's originally from a judo background, so you can expect some strong grappling skills. But obviously, having spent quite a bit of time now at City Kickboxing. I've heard him say he's excited to show off some of the uh, improvements he's made to his stand-up game here tonight. Uh, he's definitely the taller fighter of tonight, you know, he, he's a whole 18 centimetres taller than his opponent and it'll be good to see if he uses his reach to his advantage. Yeah, it's always exciting, you know, when you have this dynamic, I mean, but being the shorter fighter is nothing new to Paul McMahon. You know, he, he's found himself in that situation plenty of times before. So I'm sure he'll have uh, some tricks up his sleeve that he can use to get inside and crash the pocket. It'll be interesting to see uh, how the dynamic of this fight plays out. You know, will, will Kevin look to employ that grappling like he has in the past, or is he going to want to try out some new weapons? Kevin Jusay stepping into the cage in the grey uh, fight shorts. Yeah, Paul McMahon is a real, he's a real mainstay of the New Zealand fight team. Uh, he's a veteran, he's been around a long time, he's fought a lot of notable names on the fight scene. Guys such as Carl Van Roon, Po Barkier and Anthony Poaching, so he's definitely not wanting for high level experience. He's been in there with some very good guys. to represent New Zealand over in IMF Oceania. I mean, one of the last tournaments that our MMA fighters had the opportunity to travel before uh, this uh, this climate hit us. Main event at Shuriken Fight Series 9. Pro welterweight tilt between Paul McMahon and Kevin Jusay. Paul takes his case straight away. And it's yeah, it'll be trademark look from CKB look from Kevin Jusay, right? The head movement, the feints. And still a little bit lower, the white stance. Oh, strong right leg kick. Yeah, he almost kicked through the backside though and caught the back of the, the rear leg there of Paul. Goes inside that time. Oh, and a little a little oblique kick there. But Paul really pouring on some pressure early, perhaps looking for a takedown. Paul's doing well with his uh, lead leg hand there. Kevin felt that one. Yeah, Paul, Paul's hands look very good so far. Another hard leg kick from Kevin. Although Paul's lip is just cut a little bit. Paul, Paul doing a good job though. He's, he's really shepherded uh, Kevin. Put, him, put his back against the fence and 
Some good pressure here. Couple naked kicks there. Wouldn't mind seeing some hands to set it up or maybe to follow. Paul straight on on the takedown. Double underhooks. We'll see what he can do uh, against Beautiful. the judoka Juse here. But Paul, Paul appears to have a good grip there. Hands connected on the body lock. With the years of experience in judo, he's going to have a, a trem uh, tremendous uh, good balance. Yeah, and I think we're seeing that right now. Even though Paul's got that body lock, he's not really having too much success off balancing Kevin. And we see Kevin punching in here off the whizzer, framing, throwing an elbow. And now Paul finds himself with his back to the cage against the taller man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, beautiful the top elbow. Kevin Jusay puts Paul McMahon down. Paul's hurt, so Paul's hurt. I think it glanced him over the back of the head, but it just had enough impact to uh, stun him just a little bit. Yeah, maybe just caught Paul a bit off guard there because he, he appears to have all, all his faculties. He's straight back up, throwing his own shots, so maybe not as hurt as it initially appeared. The same kick finds its home the second time on that outside leg, almost reaching that rear leg as well. Nice calf kick there from Paul. But a bit of a momentum shift here as Kevin's now taking the center and he's the one walking Paul down. Paul with his back to the cage. Be good to see Paul let his hands go get a bit better, a, a, a bit more like he did in the first exchanges. Yeah, if and he a wants lot more respect and put put Kevin on the back foot. Yeah, sorry, John. If if he wants to regain the momentum and kind of take the lead again, I, I think you're right. He's going to have to step in, get some respect with his hands, and then from there he might be able to retake the center and the lead of the fight. Great oh, cross kick from Kevin. Okay, Kicks out the back leg. Kevin oh, and he's going to work down straight away. Elbows. Big shots from Kevin Jusse on top. Oh, beautiful knee to the big knee to the liver there from Kevin Jusse. Paul McMahon covering up, and that is all over. Wow! What a finish! And the casual walk off there from Kevin Jusse. Easy work for him. Let's, let's look at the replay again. I mean, look at that finish. Paul launches in, gets caught off a little bit off balance. But that big elbow um, stuns that? Kevin. Oh, that there. knee, Sorry. that knee. Yeah, interesting look there. As Paul was trying to scramble back to his feet, Kevin had landed a few head strikes, but you saw he eyed up the body and he just fired that right knee straight to the liver. Look at it here, as you can see. He sees his hands are defending his head, wait for him to stand up, gets their feet off the ground. Oh, and he goes straight for that finish. Yeah, great, great patience from Kevin there, you know. It would have been easy for him to kind of go crazy and swarm with head strikes, but he was very patient, measured the distance, and as Paul McMahon went, you know, to get back to his feet, he saw the opening, fired that knee straight in the liver, and Paul just doubled over. I can't see yeah. Kevin Juice, hey, from City Kickboxing. Everybody's on their feet, everybody's happy, no problems. <laughs> there you have it, the last of our fights. 